Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging out at the Seamstress's Union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I've been laying there low for there for a while, laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Jake Spent does a lot of laying low, apparently. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Kabuto, Mrs. Kabuto asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alley, some gangers got the jump on me. He winces. Damn. Maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, can you grab me a cup? Soy calf is like artificial, like soy-based coffee, basically. Soy can just apparently be anything. Soy, soy, it's, yeah, soy is the, um, uh, it's the Swiss army knife of vegetation, basically. <laughs> Get your own damn cup! My hands are dirty anyway! Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound as Dresden continues his work. Ugh. I hope they have one of those employees must wash hands signs. I'm sure. Thanks, John, you're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat corp bounty on my head. Like I said. My last job didn't exactly go to plan. Go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off my head. Jink smiles, and you get the impression that didn't work out so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him. Until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. You've done this before? It's a long story. I end up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake's here. Jake here's a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you'd get a free night's stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union. Missing liver and all. Yeah. Tell you what. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. That's just one of the gangs, the Halloweeners. They appear in the Genesis version as well, I believe. In the, not the, the Genesis game as well. Their leaders... So is it, is it the same character in the Genesis... Oh, no, the Genesis has a completely different hero and story. Hmm. But in the Genesis game, you do go to the Redmond Barons and you fight some Halloweeners. They're kind of the low-level bet. They're like the... They're the equivalent of, like, slimes in Dragon Quest, sort of. <laughs> Their leaders got the whole gang searching that searching the Barons for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets alone at night, trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. Maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? It's nice to have someone watching your back out there, assuming you can trust them. I get it. Gotta be careful in this trade. I'm not one to go back on a deal, though. John can vouch for that. Plus, you know where I'm hiding out, right? Doesn't leave me a lot of room to sell you out. What do you say? I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. All right, Jake, count me in. Great. Been hiding out ever since that run-in with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers, but this turf of stretch of the barons is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it to this morgue in one piece without packing some heat. He yells over his shoulder. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. They're like an old married couple or something. <laughs> so, you need a weapon. I like to keep my distance. Got a rifle? You don't like library windows, do you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jake, too soon! I mean, I mean, I know for you it's been almost a century, but... <laughs> Here's a rifle you can borrow. So, ready for an evening out on the town? He's got a lot of shit if you can just give me whatever gun. Well, he's a he's a pretty badass shadow runner. I'm sure he's got sources. Supplies. Just a minute. <clears throat> Tell me some more about these gangers first. Well, they're one of the nastier gangs in town. Their symbol is a flaming jack-o'-lantern, but you wouldn't like their version of trick-or-treating very much. Around here they're led by a troll named John Paul. My god my god, the the Halloweeners are led by the Pope! <laughs> well, that joke's a few years out of date now, but and also too soon, probably, but... He's yeah. got all the Halloweeners and the Barons looking for me. If we take him out, maybe I can breathe a bit easier. I'm ready. I'll follow your lead. The Halloweeners aren't looking for you. Yet. Bum bum bum! You can leave whenever you're ready. One criticism that has been made of this game is that it's kind of very linear. Like, you go from area to area... You can't, like, you can't really roam around that much. I don't mind the linear game now. Yeah, it, 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 it isn't a serious issue. Although it is kind although it is, it would be cool someday to have, like, a more open game in, like, the Shadowrun universe. Which the Genesis version, act, the Genesis, I keep saying versions as if they were the same basic game, which the Genesis game actually, actually was. I mean, the Genesis game had a main story, 
but you could spend like huge amounts of time just going around doing runs against different companies, improving your gear, meeting different runners. It was like almost, it was like an early open world game almost. Head out into the barrens. Maybe there's a downloadable campaign that's. Uh... Yeah, so, well, I'm, I, someone I might there might be people working on that. Who knows? Like I said, with the editors and all. Run in the Seattle sprawl, and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. It doesn't matter your business. The Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, add a dash of tourist trap, and you've got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling in his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales with an expression of wry contentment. The stench and grime tell him he's home. Well if, well, if you've been sleeping in a morgue, it might, it might be relatively good. My stash is just around the corner in the alley. All right, here we are. Does the bus stop here? Now, you can't, not everyone can, like, be, you, not everyone you can, can be talked to. A lot of them are just looking for a date, honey. All right, let's see. All right, there's a hand. Is it a troll bunker? Is it? I can't tell. No, it's just a no. human lady, it looks like. Well, I'm, presumably there are troll hookers in this universe, I mean. Yeah. They prostitute themselves for the lulls. But the new yet. Let's move this way. Alright, uh, move that garbage away. And... Hidden the garbage screen alley is a high-tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. And this move hiss is... The safe opens to reveal a collection of gear... It's a match for your skills. You take the gear. Uh-oh. Hand over the loot, bozos. Villainy is afoot, Nick. Ow! Jerk. Punchy. Ow! That hurt. Oh, see, oh, here's my drone. Okay, cool, you start with one if you've got the, uh... All right, now here... Check this out. Doberman drone. When, when it's set to off, it just follows you around. If I switch it to on... Now it's now it can take action. Now, basically, having a drone running, it's kind of like having a spirit in that every turn the drone is running, you have to spend one of your AP, one of your AP controlling the drone rather than yourself. And if you have two drones running at once, which you can do, then that's two AP per turn. But... It can work out in your favor because it takes me one AP a turn to run the drone, but the drone has two AP. So you right. can potentially increase your total firepower that way. And the drone comes with... Well, this, this big-ass gun, basically. Damage 10, capacity 99, range medium. Class C drone turret. So it's... There we are. Oh, and he's dead. Check out this rifle. 71 to hit, chance to hit. Let's take an aim shot. 86% chance to hit. Weak. Nice. Alright, now Jake Armitage. Okay, now we've got him in our party. Jake Armitage. And you control him the same way you do your own. He's got a uh, Ares Predator pistol. Ares is one of the larger world's larger arms corporations. And, let's see, he's got some magic. Heal wound. Heals all of the damage from the most recent attack. This is kind of important in this game. There's healing magic, but it only heals the most recent injury you suffered. So if a guy hits you twice, it only, heal, it only heals the last one. So, like, if a guy is, like, way low on hit points, you can't just, you know, keep repeatedly heal him back up to maximum with magic. Right. To do that, you'd need, like, uh, like a med kit. Alright, heal wound. Flamethrower, line of f fire controlled by the caster and directed at one target, or aim one, increase the target's chance to hit by 12% last two rounds. Let's hit him with some flame. Ah, my chance to hit with this is better than with the gun. <laughs> Mugger. Imagine, you know, you're going around, you're trying to mug someone, and then he just responds with this. <laughs> Sets you on fire. And let's take an aim shot. Are you able to say accidentally... Hit civilians? Uh, no. Area of effect attacks can hit your your allies. But no, I don't think there's any, like, collateral damage in this. Oh, and we see, we got a few hit points back after the fight. 
Jeez. So, welcome to the Barrens. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good dead drops are so hard to keep. He chuckles. Well, at least they were to too dumb to break my maglock. Now that you've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Alright, let's take a look at my... what I have now. First off, I'll save. Is that a car alarm in the background there, Nick? Uh, yeah, but I think that's in the game. Oh, is that from the game? Okay, I wasn't sure if that was the ambiance of the game or if that was in real life. Okay. Let's see if we can see anything worth boosting. We've got two karma to spend. Okay, rifle. Two critical damage percentage visible and burst fire burst fire available, weapon permitting. Okay, so, if, so some uh some rifle like the submachine gun, some rifles have like an automatic you know auto fire. Okay, see so what I have. AK-97, most common assault rifle in the world. <clears throat> Still got my Fonz jacket. The... Alright, 10 damage, long range, 24 capacity, ammo capacity. And Doberman, Class C attack drone. The basic combat drone that every rigger should own at least once in their shadow career. And I've got some med kits, grenade, a dock wagon thing. And I've still got that thing in my head. Data Jack. Essence costs 0 0.5. Data Jack is kind of the most basic cyberware. It doesn't really cost very much. Alright. Right. Let's deal with those Halloweeners. Kind of a poorly chosen name for your gang, if, you know, if it ends in wieners. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Oh, here's someone who wants to talk. Worried man. The man appears to you before as well-mannered, but nervous. Excuse me, sir. I don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in a fight, and we need some help. What's your problem? Some thugs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore. But no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Where's this market of yours at? It's just down the street, sir. Please. Our livelihoods depend on this market. All right. So this is a little side quest. Yeah. Commerce is like a weed, taking but in the cracks and crevices of the world wherever it can. A small street market has flourished here, amidst the crumbling ruins of the Redmond Barrens. I appreciate the, narr the narrating. But we barely have anything left! Not my problem. Pay up by morning or else. Head thug. Evening, sir. The thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm, but you can see the thug's patience fading fast. He looks like he's about to start breaking things. Eh? Who the hell are you? Bet your, but, <laughs> bet your mom's real proud of you right now. Okay, now notice there's two options I don't have. One, strength four. You can, th you, can, you can say, I've got a better idea, hand over today's take, and I'll let you leave alive. Or if you have etiquette uh, gang, you can like convince him the police are nearby. But I'm just going to tell him, why don't you piss off? You ain't a Halloweener. Why don't you buzz off? Because I'm sick of gutter punks like you. I knew you, were, I knew you were just looking to cause static. Dash! Ice this guy! Cause static. You're fracking dead. Oh, Dash Rendar's coming to his aid! Uh-oh. Cause Mage. static is actually, uh... I, it, I think it's still used. Today. Yeah, that's used in modern day, yeah. Don't give me static and so forth. Head thug. Mage thug. That's a frightening thought, like street gang members who are, you know, sorcerers. Oh, yeah. no, also notice these things that appear? Appeared mm. when I clicked on Jake? Those are ley line points. If you stand on them and you're a magic user, you're more effective. Oh. Is there a story reason why? Um, it's, well, it's part of the setting, you know, just like that, like. Some places are, so there are certain places that are like more magically potent. Let's see. Flame thrower. And that's the end of her. I got, got 99 to hit chance. Okay, burst fire. Two attacks in one action that increases chance of critical, uses five bullets. This takes, uh, two action points. 
But since all I was going to do was going to shoot at him anyway, I might as well do it this way and have a better critical chance. Four. Critical, 28%. Just let her rip. All right, one miss, but one critical. 15 damage. No, Jake still has a shot with his pistol. All right, critical, 2.0. 2 